Hi, I'm Maciek Zaremba with Sarasota for Sale over at Keller Williams. Today we're going to talk about the six sins of overpricing your property. What happens? What are the different things that you will experience if you overprice your property just to test the market? Well, first thing is if you get a contract and then you go through the appraisal process, you're going to have appraisal problems because it's going to appraise at the fair market value. Now that's assuming it is not a cash buyer. Most cash buyers don't necessarily go and do an appraisal. So you're going to have to come and reduce that price when it comes down to the appraisal coming back because they're only approved for a certain amount on the loan and it is not meeting uh, those numbers. It is over exceeding those numbers. So a negotiation will happen. Second, no showings. That's what happens. No one's going to go and look at your property because they're going to see a lot of other competitive uh, properties that they would prefer to see other than yours. No matter how good your pictures are, how good the advertising is. If you're overpriced, people, maybe one or two may go see it. But if you're getting two showings a month, you're overpriced. Third, there's a stigma problem. What happens is people think, why has this property been on the market for 90 days? Why has it been on the market for 100 days? Is there a problem? What is the problem? I don't even want to see it anymore. They assume that other people have seen it and no one's deemed it to be a good value. So no one's offered on it. Therefore, there must be a problem with it. Next one is helping the competition sell. That's what you're doing. You're helping the competition sell. Other people buyers are looking at numerous homes. They're not just looking at one home placing an offer. They usually drive with a real estate agent, see five or six homes, and then either decide to make an offer or schedule another appointment for more showings, five or six showings. So you're helping the other people get a contract or at least an offer. So if you're not getting any offers, you're definitely overpriced. You should have at least one offer within 30 days. Next thing is Tougher negotiations. So what happens is when someone offers on your property when it is overpriced, they're probably going to be closer to fair market value. But what happens there is that the gap between your list price and the offer price is a large gap. And usually what you want is you want a small gap, right? You want to have a 98% sales price to list price ratio or so. That is a pretty strong market, pretty good pricing on it. And you're just going to be suffering with a large gap and possibly taking offense. So I recommend just go get an appraisal at the beginning, know what the value of your home is, and then you're going to be not going to be dealing with that large gap. You're going to be dealing with a small gap because you might price it just a little bit higher, five, ten thousand, but thirty thousand is just uh, not not necessary. Last one are lost opportunities. So from day one, the first seven days, that is a hot property. This is the time for you to capitalize on all the people getting the search results in the email, going on Zillow or other preferred websites, and seeing what's new today, what's new this week. So all of these people that are going in and getting the exposure of your home are now saying, well, I don't even want to look at it. It's overpriced. So you're losing on all those opportunities. And then it gets back to stagnation, the stigma problem. So then after a while, you decide to lower the price and your property is stale on the market and people are like, well, they keep reducing the price. Um, it must not be worth what they originally thought and they may not even see it. So those were the six sins of overpricing. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions about anything, please give me a call 941-400-7084 or you can email me at sarasota at sarasotasarasota.com. Now, if you have any questions that you'd like for me to answer, give me an email, give me a call, let me know what that question is, and I'd be glad to make a video about it. Thank you for watching.